Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after a couple of weeks of Microsoft rolling out the same preview build to both Dev and Beta Channel Insiders, um, this week on the 11th of May, Microsoft started um, rolling out two uh, separate Insider builds to both Dev and Beta Channel Insiders. Now the first, which I did cover in a video I posted yesterday, and I will leave a link to that down below if you're interested, is a preview build 22621, which rolled out to uh, the beta channel as its own build. And as I mentioned in that video, um, this means that Microsoft is starting to finalize um, Windows 11, the first and anniversary update for Windows 11 version 22H2 uh, rolling out in the latter half of this year. And as mentioned, it's only rolled out to beta channel insiders. And this also means, as mentioned in the video I posted yesterday, that version 22H2 could be uh, released to RTM shortly, um, and that's released to manufacturing um, uh, as early as the end of this month, May 2022. And um, also the fact that there were no new features or major improvements included in build 2261 to beta channel insiders also is an indication that Microsoft is now starting to complete the, uh, that Windows 11 uh, feature update version 22H2, which will roll out in the latter half of this year. Now, due to this, um, it also means now that the Dev Channel received a whole new separate build of its own, and this is build 25115, and that's now rolling out to the uh, Dev Channel Insiders to, to start testing, which basically means that this is the start and uh, the beginning of Microsoft starting to test um, uh, features that we could see roll out in next year's feature update uh, in 2023, which will be called version 23H2, also codenamed Sun Valley 3. So basically, um, essentially, this is an early flight for version 23H2 that's rolling out next year that the Dev Channel now has started to test. So um, uh, we get in 22H2 in the latter half of this year, and build 25115 now in the Dev Channel means that that's the beginning for testing of next year's feature update version 23H2. Now, um, in the Windows 11 Insider Preview build 25115 for the Dev Channel, just to mention a couple of things that Microsoft just highlights here in the uh, release notes, they say that with this build uh, getting released to the Dev Channel, the window now closes for you uh, to be able to switch from the Dev Channel to the Beta Channel um, since your device will be on a higher build number now, um, because obviously now the two builds are separate builds, and um, it'll be on a higher build number um, than what is provided in the beta channel. And um, if uh, you do install this build, you have 10 days until uh, they say they release a new build to the dev channel. So you can roll back and switch to the beta channel. And if you don't do that in 10 days, uh, you will have to do a clean installation so just be aware of that and then they also say that build 25115 um, is not rolling out to ARM64 PCs but that will be happening soon in an up and coming build and then there's one new feature they mention uh, called suggested actions which we'll take a quick look at shortly and then of course we get those improvements and fixes and then there's also a new preview of the new sound recorder, which I did post a video on as well yesterday. And I will also leave a link down below to that video if you are interested. Now, just to mention uh, the suggested actions. And we're just going to take a look at one or two screenshots uh, from uh, those release notes of what this is all about. And this is a new feature, according to Microsoft, for making everyday tasks quicker um, in Windows 11 through inline suggested actions. When you copy a date, time or phone number, a Windows will suggest actions relevant to you, such as creating calendar events or making phone calls with your favorite apps. And this first uh, screenshot, as we can see, is regarding a phone number that you've copied. And they say on copying a phone number, Windows will pop up an inline light dismissible UR. That's a user interface, as we can see in this uh, screenshot. That suggests ways to call the phone number using Teams um, or other installed apps that offer click-to-dial call functions as in Teams and Microsoft Edge in this example. And then if we just head to the uh, next screenshot, um, which uh, is regarding um, copying a date as an example, they say on copying a date 
and or time. Um, the windows will pop up again, the user interface and the dismissible user interface. Once again, that suggests creating the event using um, supported calendar apps, as we can see here, Outlook and Calendar. And upon user selection of preference, the app is launched with its corresponding calendar event creation page with auto-filled date and or time. So that's the new feature, uh, feature suggested actions that is rolled out now in build 25115. And then if we just head to the actual release notes for this build, there are changes and improvements. And I will leave a link to uh, these release notes for build 25115 down below as well. And as mentioned, suggested actions, we've just gone through that. And then we get all the changes and improvements and fixes. You've got some general. The taskbar has received a, a fix, file explorer, some improvements and fixes, settings, the same, and the task manager and Windows security. So I will leave a link down below, as mentioned, to these release notes. And then as always, um, regarding the dev channel, uh, which Microsoft does remind us they say the dev channel receives builds that represent long lead work from our engineers with features and experiences that may never get released as we try out different concepts and get feedback so always bear that in mind that it's early days with the features in the dev channel and although um uh, it is uh, suggested that they are starting to test features for version 23h2 next year um According to Microsoft, a lot of these features may never ever see the light of day according to their release notes. So that's it, build 25115 now available for the dev channel, meaning that version 23H2 uh, is starting to be tested, which is next year's feature update rolling out for Windows 11 in 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.